Good afternoon. Susie, up there with you, Fellowship, Dr. About our broadcast. Music courtesy of TFM. Local radio station. That's for that's maybe uh, guess the hour. Still have to guess the hour. Come from the song either. Oh, look, 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 Right, so what it is, you get yourself a fucking fresh pasty, right? And you just grip it by the palm of the fucking hand. Are you alright? You grab your pasty, don't be nasty. Then you just get it and you just smash your pasty. Don't be nasty, smash it, smash it, smash your pasty. And that's just warming up so give it a double arm. Give it a double arm. There's fucking steak me everywhere. Oh, yo, I keep coming up on the mic. I do it proper. Hold tight in sausage roll. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Yes, I have. No, I mean, man, anyone can smash the pasty. Don't be nasty. Don't be nasty. Back the party. That's it. Hold tight on the little baguettes inside. Yes, yes, yes. Grab the pasty, don't be nasty. Grab that pasty, don't be nasty. Ha ha ha. Oi, oi. Three for the girls there. Cool, take you. Connor and his. Denim. Oi, oi. Talk to the beat. Is that how they get everybody? Head to the beat. Yes, yes, yes. Anyone can smash a fucking pasty, man. Don't be nasty. So smash, smash, smash the pasty. Smash the pasty. Yeah, boy. No, I mean, man. Anyone can smash a pasty. Get him. I'm hoping everything works all right, because I'm outside. Just let me tell you, it isn't easy. Like, it took about 20 minutes to set this up. The umbrella keeps blowing away. The little bit of wind. We are cleaning ball. Look how clean that bad boy is. It's like brand new. It's like you've just got it out of the box. Probably been in the bottom of the lake for the last two years. Who do I trust? Who do I trust? Who can, who can I trust to tell me if the volume on that radio is too high or low? Just needs to be like in the background, you know. Look at that bald head shiny. Yeah. Have not even got any cream on it all today? And you also got a few. Uh, oh, proud to be a Jordy. Oi, oi. Proud to be a Jordy. You know, yeah. I wear the lads. I'm not a Jordy, right? Jordy lad. But. You will often hear a few dirt comments flipping in, just slipping in there. Hiya. I just don't want to be like miming a song when you can't really hear it. But I've also got to keep it so you don't get copyrighted, you know what I'm saying? Mute it, mute it. Don't believe you. What's happening to Dave, mate? Eh? Just put the uh, put YouTube on there. First live I went to, I thought I recognise that voice. It's uh, Matty back there. Film boy. 
to our new channel. Viral videos, I think it's called. Viral videos. Caught him saying that uh, cesspits never going to be monetized. I think it's been told. You might even pop an E on, let's know the crap. It's got no beef to uh, but no beef to film by, I don't think. Yeah, man, Susie, Mrs. Moon, she is finished early today. She finishes the great box. She's all good. So this is quite a good time of the week for me. Um, oops, Thursday afternoon. As I've just been not working at the minute. Even time, I've got one to choose a Wednesday and half of Thursday, like to do whatever you do when, when you're off work. Try to keep yourself busy, though, don't you? Back to work, Dave. I don't believe it. I've just spoken to Dave there, and he isn't doing any work at all, guys. Be this year. Don't believe a word he says, man. Uh, yes, I've got about yeah. all these balls here, yeah. We're all found the other day when I could have quite easily. Well, you. Not yesterday, the day before, but quite easily. This was made it bed, you know, watch the tennis all day, bro. Got myself up. I've been well eaten, so I've been camouflaged. Yeah. And uh, walked around the golf course three and a half hours. Honestly, right? If you anyone seen my camouflage jacket, it's like what they wear in the army and that, right? Massive pockets. No pockets, no pocket space left at all. Like, I think it was about 100 of balls in there. Got a lot busy there, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's still alive, I'll say. Oh, was it her? Was that some of you that died? YouTube is everyone else's YouTube being played up. 
Well, I just do the way that you can do it, right? It's going off the top head, no patience, that's it, everyone's saying it. Imagine, imagine if you own YouTube and all that shit. You know, when you take up work, you do I have a little issue with the light at the minute. You know, I love that massive song. Love massive tune. Uh, I'll say more, yeah. Uh, Andy Nepple, the new guy. Does anyone know if she is? Uh, yes, oh, Big G, my mate. Uh, Fucking hell, G, I'm getting worried about you. Am I right, Susan? Not worried, worried, but you know what I mean? You know what? Oh, it's one of them. I guess it. I think might take this Sounds stupid, but it's one of them. Like, you wonder what you've done wrong uh, sometimes. You know, like, when people don't come in, but I thought you haven't been well. Something crap with Jeb. Yep. Good to yep. see you back, man. Are you on a break or what? Look in German, what is it like the Atticas? Over the old German. This is just a wood She's still with us, 62. Thank you, Sophie. Isn't it mad, isn't it? Um, ask a question, like, and, like, just Google it, can you, you know what I mean? Make a finger tip on anything you think what? So mad, isn't it? Pain after the car crash, yeah. everyone was saying you need to go to the hospital to get checked out. And, uh, right. Till that night when I was laid on the set, about, about 10 hours after I had this crash, I started getting pain in my side. Oh. Got a long story short, I was getting stored and being like this lot. They are German and as well, Adidas, I think Dave will confirm that to you, the Adidas King. Off labels, labels, like his Adidas. Or is it Adidas? It's Adidas. Or Adidas, or Nike, or Nike. Nike, right? Nike, Adidas. Is there any sports companies that are actually British though? Any of the big sports brands British? What about Umbro? Is Umbro Oh, 
Well, you don't work like you, are you? Grabbing a good brain, or oh, what this is. Can't get any more to go. Yeah, the pink sorted out. It's all there. The first thing to do for you, give you this tablet, what it does, breaks the kidney stone down in your, wherever it's trapped in some, it's trapped in a vessel like uh, the way I got it explained. Imagine having a straw, imagine a straw, yeah? Imagine putting a pebble or a marble in a straw. So that's, that's what happens with the kidney stone. And the pain is when that kidney stone is trying to move through that straw. And it can't, and that's the pain you get. So the first, the first thing you do is give you a tablet, break it all down, and then you pee it out. You go to the toilet, pee it out. Just wonderful. Can't, can't really see it, you know, because it's all like, it's, it's dissolved. According to and then that's job done. massive. Uh, but if that doesn't work, yeah, and that works for me anyway, but I know I was talking about people in, uh, in the same uh, ward. It was Adam Wills and they had to go get this, like, uh, X-ray or something, X-ray bath. Everybody, it's only Gary Or it does the rays of the X-ray uh, break the target, the stone, and it breaks it down. I took it back to the July 1984. He's the next year, I remember this one. Brimful of Asher by Corner Shop. I'll tell you where I was. Y'all remember where you were with a song from now. So I was working where I am now. Totally different factory now, like uh over nineteen ninety three or four. Everybody needs a buzzer for a pillow in it. Susie's got a problem there with the uh, short term. Yeah. 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 I always get these mixed up. You know, it's like the, uh, you know, I think because they're in the same place, I like got Good, good your kidneys. Any time you get a pain, it's like, oh, it's your kidneys, your kidneys. We've all had that, for is it? People say it's like trapped wind in there, that pain back there. We all know it. Which means you fall in the pits, bro. You fall in the pits, bro. So I've just heard on the news there, just just before I called you the first ten minutes. Um, so the government has announced what pay rise the teachers and all that get. Yes, it's about like six percent, which I don't have yet.
six percent and nobody have that pay rise for three years. It doesn't really matter anyway, like because you get a pay rise usually in line with like inflation unless you work for a really good company to make like, you never see any benefit of it eh? because it just goes on your everything else goes up. So when you work from home, yeah? Big G, I know you work from home and you're still there. But do you work from home? So when you pull it, you can just still bring in sick. You know, you've got a bad leg and you couldn't get at work. But if you work from home, it's got to be a bit more serious if you want to see. It. Yes, he is. Now, Ted, I'm going to put his mouth down that. Funny that day, mate. I don't know how to say it, but when you went, I don't know if you were listening after I went for a pint. Obviously, you were just mooching around town and you had your YouTube on. The funniest thing was, like, just how I expected it to look, bro. Like Tom Cruise. Can confirm Ted Lou is a dead ring for Tom Cruise, guys. Girl. Yeah, that, uh, you're right, like the teachers. They're not backing down, are they, man? Two days last week. Two days. And it wasn't like uh, two days together as well. Mixed it up. You know, just for maximum effect. And then that makes it a lot, doesn't it? But, you know, they're all on strike. But then they're on the news, and they're all stood there saying, we don't want this. We don't want this. Yeah, man, you have to be, um, I was like that, you know, I'd have to be half dead, I didn't go to work, I'd have to literally have to put my arms out, or just on death's doorstep. The main thing, especially when you had like a cold or anything, one of the excuses you use is that you just don't want to pass it around, you don't have the whole, like, whole workforce on. I'm really happy with that kind of Then you think about the I'm That's the one there, that's the one. It's the highlight. Sorry, I'm being lazy. I'm coming on the phone. Still got that bad setting on as well, baby. Messages to take. Take an app, baby. Big G, did you hear yesterday, man? Did you hear about the outline in the new competition? Talking to men and women. Women probably get a little bit of help off their husbands or boyfriends, but going to do this green team thing. You know, the official, official Barclays one. We have our own mini league. With prizes and, you know, Uh, manager of the box and stuff like that. It's all it's in the pipeline now. Leave the box till, well, the 10th of August. That's when the season kicks off. The Premiership. So, really want everything wrapped up for that week. But a lot of people, you know, with them dream teams, one of the secrets is. 
Where are we going to go now? We'll wait till the last uh, minute. Wait till the last the minute because the team sign players are only just before yeah, the season. Paul, the post team, you have got a spot on. This was released in the show. This was a big, a big release in the toy world. <laughs> So, softy, well, uh, Susie can't look at them. So, then, softy, is it this side of YouTube? Uh, Call someone a sudden softy. I wish that was as bad as it got. Like, Look at that avatar. Big G hasn't wavered from that avatar, has he? From that night, he's the only one left with it now. When you put two titans in the music industry, Sort of does like and the other one sort of does some of the doesn't it really when you look at it? It's everything about Big G in it. This was the year that the Furby came out. Not Gary Furby, the boxer. Furby, the toys, you know, that little you have to feed them or something. Didn't you? Didn't you? you have to feed them at certain times or they died, did you? Big G, are you into your tennis or you and Susie? Is anyone into tennis? You've been watching Wimbledon. Still got a. Uh, I know all the English people went out in the second round, didn't they? Which always is a bit of a bummer, but it's always like. There's always a fairy tale story, isn't there? I think the one in the men's has finished with that. I think that like Eubanks, did he get beat last night? Black guy, Eubanks. He was like a breath of fresh air. But in the women's, there was a woman at all, and she's playing the Saturday and set her first semi final. One who's had a baby six months ago, I can't remember the name now. American, I think. Uh, no, I think she's European. Uh, from the Ukraine, from the Ukraine, which makes it more interesting, you know, the war. Don't know whether she's playing this afternoon. Good slim. Saying that, Susie's now turned into the uh, reporter, roving reporter for this channel. Any questions? It's like, uh, it's like Alexa. Great Get the golf, golfs on as well. All the uh, all the golfing greats from around the world will all be converging on Liverpool next week. Well, they'll probably be over on Monday. There's a competition on in Scotland at the minute, Scottish Open. Which is always the week before British Open because that's the golfers like clam tires, being you know, clam tires. And they've been playing all over the world and then come to Scotland. Especially on the West Coast, where you just can't predict the wind and that. Wind coming off the Atlantic, yeah? coming off the Atlantic. I hope you're good anyway, Ted, lad. See you, my mate. You know, you know I'm not in the borough anymore now, fella. I well, will be this weekend passing through, like, 
can't just get up now and put shoes on and do a walk at the town, Ted. It's mad, you know what, you know what, what's mad? So there's a few people who talk to here who I know for a fact they like this. You know when you're being born somewhere, like say Liverpool, yeah? Just use it as an example. You're a scouser, yeah? And you know they get that, like they really pay me off, can they, you know? But to the point where I'll use flavors because I know flavors has said this on live, but he's never really left the boat, he's never been abroad, he's never been on all day. I think there's quite a few people like that. I think few. So, for whatever reason, found themselves like later on in life, realize that they haven't really left. I haven't really seen the world. Everything you love from the BBC, including live radio, like this. He's Big G's favourite band. This one's for you, Big G. Big G knew all the dance to all these, all this. Making you feel all right. Big G was the rascal one. Seven four twenty. What you doing? Just walk up. Yeah. So if you just walk up, right? You think you've got on YouTube? Seeing them live. You're late and you met you put that up. 
Got a bit of firework, you know, fella. Says my Twitter bio. Can't get any better than that. Really. Them, I think about it. With my children, but uh, what was the uh, get the feeling? Andy Levinson, he's right on the door, see? Ah, oh, right on the door. Great. If I wrote eight guesses and none of them correct. Uh, it's one of those tricky ones, is this one. But uh, a lot of guesses coming in and getting it right. Well, John, yeah, you are. 993 is my guess, and I haven't even Googled it, I'll be honest. Relax and weak, guys. And don't time to sit down and relax again. 993, I'll be 20. Nailing it, my friend. Uh, Paul, the decorator, getting it right. This was a movie. <laughs> You shouldn't have to go. There are plenty of young men that went to China. It's an honor to protect my country and my family. What's the so you that? die for honor. Right. But if I know my place. What the hell is that? Run. Uh, what is What was the year? I don't think I've seen that one. Because it was such a classic from this year. 4,085, 95, Spice Girls, Fever, 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 Bill Graham, Stephanie, Sporty Spice, Ted Lou, Ted Lou, and I don't know, trying to fit Ted Lou into the Spice Girls, uh, it's not easy that way. Right, I've got the two biggest wind-up merchants, yeah, when they're together, Bill and Big G in the house, yeah. Depends on what mood the pair of them are in. Depends on how funny they'll be, you know what I mean? Can you usually turn, can you usually turn it on, you know? See, these are the combinations you don't see very often. These are the little gems, the little gems that you can close up now and again. You know, like when you can't sleep and you put a live on. Normally, I don't expect anything. Then you get a little jet. What's wrong with you? The last one. Sharing over a little bit. Say no, kids. Say no. <coughs> so big G singing along now. Remember, you've always got one beer, haven't you? When you've got a group of lads, it's always one. You know, thanks to all the birds to all the new songs that come out, but you can get the words mixed up all the time. I think we do it on purpose at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't know the words, it's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. throw the odd word in. I think that's what the G's like when it goes out like. Are the blokes on first, man? So the dog comes in from school the other day, yeah. He said one well, like, thing, let's have a run down in your day, so we ran through the day, what happened? So, Chad Sherman. Sherman. Anyone else do Sherman? Sorry, Bob. Don't see. Just don't see where you use German. You could use German, to be honest. 
put into the language in our voice. Don't, don't print this language. It's like, take Portuguese, but you imagine Portuguese, like Portuguese models, yeah? Uh, not that I know from uh, my experience. Uh, Portuguese model. Talking German. You put it in because it's still done. Anyway, work, it? Viva Forever, the Spice Girls, you've got up with Song of Tamil. Well, there's Shaw. There's Boss Dog there. All the boys are coming in. The boys are coming in. Matthew says, I mean, look, it's for chance. Yes, but it's got to be. Pick up the gadgets. Best spread the word about football. You'll be interested, Shaw. Yes, we're good. We're doing this dream team, mate. And I know, I say I'm going to do stuff, and sometimes I do, but at this point, I am. Guys. So, uh, I've got a few people helping us out, we don't know yet. But we're going to do the dream team, so it'll be all the rules of uh, the Barclays, the official Barclays, all the scoring and everything. I'll do all the updates. No, you're a year out. We'll be a manager of the month. You know, if there's a big match midweek or something, we're all watching it. So we're live and Pick someone, pick like uh, the money is the kid. Might let them have like a little competition, they get to have a bet, tap out bet, whatever they want. Pick bit sick. Pick bit. But see, boss talk you would suit, especially with the goalie beat. Uh, you're still rocking the goalie. Anyone has seen Boston recent cards, he's rocking a good beard from the figures. Must be just bored, you know. When your beard grows that quick, like Boston. Don't give him a week, he can have one of them big tashes, you know, when full the goal of all up again. Is that safely say? Safely say I've known Boston long enough. The, he is miles ahead of the rest of the second place in that group here, right? For growing pains. Bus dogs. Bus dogs in the league of his own, right? Well, Bus dogs' granddad was in turn, German in turn. Not be mixed up with the person here. So, interpreter, right? So an interpreter, let's get this right. That's the one to uh, like translate. Is that to translate? Please uh, confirm that. Also. Yeah, boss dog, mate. What, what's going on with the, with the gap? It's all going to plan or what? Because I know you're getting... <coughs> I know you get some marble floors or something, and you're like coming straight from like the ground in Italy or something, or 5,000 pounds square meter or something. See, even though it's tough, right? It's tough to get the time, mate. <coughs> You've still gone out the way. <coughs> Gonna have to wait to do the good. So big respect for taking the time, mate, on your appearance. You know I'm exactly the same, mate. I get up every morning. Half an hour in the bathroom. Oh, Phil Graham, it's about an hour in the bathroom every morning, mate. Is he still in? It's Phil and Big G still in. Phil Graham, believe it or not, when I seen the tennis, it reminded me of Phil because he was telling me once that, like, he, uh, well, he goes out in, you know, Donny, he's not Donny wristbands, he wears Donny wristbands when he goes out with, like, Donny headband, especially in the summer. It's all right, Donny will have its day again, I think. 
Yeah. Well, Big G's still there. Big G, are you still wearing that headband? Red, white, blue ones. Speed. Uh, no, you're a year old. Um, I think that means I'm getting the year and you're Anyway, James, Still don't know the year, you're not saying that. Four years old. And the put it up onto the Twitter, just in case, don't miss anyone out there. I took you back to the July. Eggs and gammon. Florian and Ken's back. Have you heard eggs and gammon yet? Eggs and gammon yet, Big Jake? Well, I'm supposed to rebuild it, sorry. It's two o'clock for the latest news I may have put. The government says it will accept the recommendations of various pay review bodies, which will be the news increases for millions of public See what's workers. going on in the world. Eh? The rates include seven percent for police and six percent for junior doctors. The six point five percent for teachers is the only offer that will be fully funded. 6.5% teachers. And that it's time to end all industrial action in the public sector. Well, Paul Novak is the General Secretary of Trade Union Congress. I think it's really down to those unions and their members. And I know, for example, our prison officers will be considering their response. I think one of the things that unions will be looking at will be that issue about whether or not they will be keen on government. Anybody working in our public service will be concerned if there was only to. A suggestion that we're robbing Peter to pay. See you, like we've got a new friend of the channel. I don't know if people are still warming to him, like still warming to him for a 35% pay increase were rejected. Two men have been arrested on suspicion of burglary and dangerous driving. Let's have a listen to this one then, Big G. Remember this? Remember these cars, boss dog. They ran off in the early hours. Of racy shots, which Ken compiled using an editing console borrowed from Stuart Piper. That's right, who does wedding videos. Thanks again, Stuart. Yes, thanks, Stuart. My Austin ambassador, why wretch? Why wretch? Why wretch? My Austin ambassador, why wretch? It's a car that I revere. My Austin ambassador, why wretch? Why wretch? Why wretch? Keep asking me why, Reg, you just happens to be that year. Now you may cover to Cleo or a Montego. Got a bit of a look of there. Uh, Fine, but not me. No, Who's he look like? Why, Reg? Why, Reg? When does he why, Reg? You have to do the bit of Now you may be utterly sold on your Catch person, you your proton. Cut your little ballad. Remember then, boss. Why, Reg? Why, Reg? Why, Reg? Don't keep asking me why, Reg. It just happens to be that year. <laughs> Oh, I'd appreciate some help, Ken. My way of putting them jokes. Oh, Ken. Oh, this is excellent footage. Come on, Ken. Oh, careful, Ken. Get off my roof. Ken. I can remember them cars. I had a. My dad had an S Red Capri. Remember the Capris? My dad had an S Red one, right? Red one. That's the first car I remember. But them ambassadors, they were, they were like. Oh, that's a nice cloud. You're right, Ken. Mm, I think so. So that's my mate, John Shuttleworth, right? John Shuttleworth, right? Not John Shufflecock. As, uh, I think that's what Shirley uh, likes to call him. Yeah, man. Well, we had the boys in there, Slim. We had the boys in. Big G's still in. Um... Phil popped his head in there, but I think he's gone back to where uh, I think he's gone back to finish his, he's running late in the bathroom, you know. Say no, kid, say no. Quaver there. There's Quaver there. We got the Quaver. I'm glad, I'm so glad the flavours are the rest, you know. I think we all 
<laughs> we, we all caught a little bit of Flavours Day. 10th of July will always be Flavours Day from now on. Saint Flavours. Uh, 30 hour live. I think that's why Daryl's gone in hiding because he has officially. Daryl, I love you, mate, but you know what? Flavours now holds the record for the longest live. 30 hours. Nah, and we did catch a lot of it, like, uh, so that record has been over top, mate. What are you going to do about that? Tom Brennan, right on. It's an absolute jab. He's a joke. Bonjour, bonjour. See, bonjour. What, what's German for hello? Good tag or Helmut. Helmut. It's not very it's not a very romantic like language, is it? No. Speak with the French. I'm going to have to look and get the, the, the insurance for these, like get them free insured, like in case I sell them. I'm that bloke out the Halifax advert now. Where is he anyway? Where's um Where's Living in Cardiff? It was it Living in Cardiff who was not the funnies out there. That's it, Quaver. You know, that's the end product. That's where a lot of hard work gets you. And a couple of litres of uh, pastry in that. I'm trying to get Louise to talk me into. I'm trying to talk Louise into getting like some palm trees on there or something, or uh, you know, some sort of like you know, just a bright do. A big picture of Bob Marley or something, or Marley. Go for the cat theme or dog. Has anyone else done that? Has anyone else got any murals on the walls? Or know anyone? Because that, that was a phase that I remember. Being in a few houses where the walls have been like painted or sprayed. Someone's done like, you know, like with stencil and all that. No, is it rocking the German look in there? That's what I've been told. So do, do you think the do you think the glasses do you think the glasses like authenticate the German or taking it away from it? Because all that thing on me is there's a lot of white going on, yeah? And three stripes and for some reason that's that's translating to like German like a German theme. It wasn't what I was going for, I'll be honest. Just trying to mix it up a little bit. Remember the studio? Remember the studio? Like, I had my son's 200 odd pound uh, computer chair, which was like, didn't look flash, but obviously you could sit in that for like five hours. Don't even know that you'd been sat down. But yeah, I've got everything here in the background, you know, I can't even use my light. Another one of the flavors copied off. He's about you in here as well. Andrew Guy, eh? Oh, it's like that is it. It's like that is it. Remember that one, Quaver? Quaver, you'll remember this one, yeah. When I am with Andrew Guy's name. Still, it's not still. I've heard it. I've heard it banded about. You know, when I let out like androgynous. 
So now when we all go to chat and andro androgyny, oh, you know people can't pronounce the second name, it's drogon. As bad as it sounds, it is drogon. Short for androgynous. Which means something like the dictionary wherein or oh, what do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? You know when you your man, a woman, a horse and goat, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, did flavors get it then? Did, did you know what you meant? Because half the time I just don't know flavors like but he's missing here or not here. Mm. Well, I think he needs to sleep for he needs to sleep for about a week. Can you imagine what it's going to be like after his next operation? Feel free to jump on anyone. Yeah, I think you know. I don't. Uh, I just the only reason why I end up on a why I end up doing lives on your. Because it seems to be I'm falling into that where we have had guests on this week. Old D was on money. Respect to Old D. But I don't wanna get I don't wanna get into that uh, fall into that category of like you know where I talk just gonna be him talking and talking shit. How are you how about the first day feel you I'd say you just don't know. But all day, all day, I don't know if you if it was in when all day was in. That was a little chat with him, man. We'd love to know that you're there. Yeah, explain it. I thought you might. You know what I mean? But it's all there, isn't it? It's all there. Like, uh, it's there, black and white. Uh, Oxford Dictionary. <laughs> Don't lie, I know that everyone now is singing in the back of the head. I'll tell you what I've been watching a bit of this morning. You know, I've been strange, right? I have admitted I have been watching live streams, you know, live from airports. Go live from airports around the world. But my favourite by far, right? It's um, Big Jet TV, right? This is a little gem for you. Big Jet TV. Live from Heathrow, right? So, from what I can gather, a fella has, has had an idea on Rock Up at Heathrow Airport, the closest bit of the runway outside of the fences and all that, you know? He's got himself a decent camera, like 4K with quite a good zoom on it. He's got himself all set up there on a tripod. It might cost him a few hundred quid, right? But, and he also probably knows a little bit about aeroplanes. Probably does live in the Heathrow, yeah? So he's turned that idea into like, and I don't know how long it's been going, but I've been watching him a few weeks now. But this morning in his chat, he had 4.8 thousand people in his chat. 4.8 thousand. Uh, I think I think the stream, when I looked at it, the stream had something like 2,000 likes. And I'm not lying when I say that 70% of his chat were green, so they were all members as well. And there was donations coming in as well. Um, membership, people joining, people one bloke giving away 50 memberships. 50 memberships. But if you check it out, Big Jet TV, right? I mean, he was, he's absolutely breaking it in now. Absolutely breaking it in. Just, just, I think he's on live. Just check it out for a bit, honestly. And you realise, like, You think about planes. If you honestly Heathrow, you don't realise how busy Heathrow is. Well, you probably do, right? But you have to see it to believe it. But you watch an hour of that big jet TV, right? Honestly, just this morning, two 
be too uh, not sure what big planes are, but seven four seven. Everyone knows it. Everyone gets excited. Mm -hmm. But these two these two cargo planes from China, the world. I've never seen anything big in my life. I mean, and these two planes have just come from China. They're coming in the land. And this fellow's got it zoomed up. Like you're right up to the airplane. You can't you can't see the white at the part of the time. But, you, know, you, you don't get a scale of how, how big they are until they're coming down. But it looks right. It looks it takes them from coming into view. It takes about three minutes for them to land, right? But it looks like they're just hovering in the air. And they've come all the way. They've come all the way from China, right? No lie. This one touched down, right? Absolutely perfect touchdown. No, less than thirty seconds later, the one behind it is coming down. Touchdown as well. And that's them two there from China. God knows what's on them. I mean, the size of these planes. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it is, isn't it, boss? He's because he's a normal lad, and he, but like, he knows a bit about planes and that, and he can make. I mean, at Heathrow, especially, you're talking, there must be. I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't even like to say efficient. I wouldn't even like to say officially, right? Uh, how many planes take off and land in an hour at Heathrow, like on a Thursday? But I'm guessing 20, maybe more, probably more than that. It's probably low. I haven't seen one from uh, Liverpool Airport yet. It's called John Lennon, isn't it? Is it big? Like? Is it? Is it international? Because to be honest, whenever I've booked a holiday, yeah, you know, you get the choice of airports. It's always Newcastle where we go from. Um, we have got another one, T side, the T closer, but it's only a small one, smaller than it. But, but Liverpool Airport, John Lennon. I've never, I've never flew from there. I know plenty of people have, like, but I think it's international, isn't it? I don't get any turns and things. Yeah, Bostock though, mate. Can you imagine his layout? So Bostock, what's that fella's layout, right? A tripod. A camera, probably, I'm guessing it could even be a phone camera, but it's 4K or something. And I can just imagine him, all he's doing, he's sat there like this on a hill watching all these planes coming in. With it. He's probably got an extended handle on his phone, you know, where he just, he's got it on and he can zoom on it. Other than that, what what is his layout to be getting like five thousand people in his chat? Yes, Shell, how are you doing? Big up the Shell. Respect, mate. Shell, what is going on with your channel? I know I asked you yesterday, but it's still still like I'm still flummoxed. Peggy's in there. Big up the Peggy. How are you doing, Peggy? Big up the Peggy and Jock. Peggy and Jockney combination. Probably stuck up for me one night. Peggy will remember it. Way back in the day, like it's quite sad, but yeah, you know it. The Spanagate, Spanagate on Pablo's. Funny as man, no, back in the day that way. Quaver, did you used to go on fighting trolls? Because I can't remember you, or were you after fighting trolls? Or have I just had another total memory block? Well, it's, Shell, did you? I don't think you were on fighting trolls either. I don't think uh, you were keen on him. Big G just rocked up from nowhere. Like I remember that night. Well, he rocked up on this channel. You know, like when when you see new people coming, you chat that. You do notice them. Like you notice them all the time. You know. So you've got the cesspit there, right? Now, I'm talking about Matty this morning because he was on, I think, Fighting Irishes, but he's got a new channel now. I don't, probably still has the cesspit. If anyone can check, check it out, I don't think I'm big enough to be getting there. There's Phil there with his view on fight trolls. Totally understand where he's coming from, mate. Like. Um, let me tell you. Fight trolls is one of the reasons. Like I don't know, 
I sort of like when you start a channel, well, not everyone, but I know when I started the channel with Daryl and uh, Spinner, I know we all wanted a bit of a bit of the fighting trolls vibe. You know, we wanted all the same people in. Sure. This is like an ideal world but without trolls and sure. without Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> Towards the end, like fuck you know. The worst thing that pissed me off, right? And I think it pissed a lot of people off who used to follow Pablo was these when he when he started like he'd he'd schedule a live, he just wouldn't fucking turn up. I mean, what the fuck? Seashell, that's better than somebody said he was dead the other day. There was a rumour flying about that he was dead, you know what I mean? Like, you can't have any worse rumours than, oh, he's dead. <laughs> Fucking, the only one person to run with it as well, video Craig, man. Fucking hell, Craig. Give me a rest, bro. You've got your hands full with the other one? Is that ginger beer and say, big up the Gav. Gav, are you, that's, see, that's, that's what I like. Gav comes in with a clean shout, looking like clean there, you know, with the white thing. So that's what I like. But then you've got the others coming in saying there's a German, there's a German vibe going on. Is anyone else getting a German vibe? Or is that just Big G and like, Big James films like Harrison for the day. You know what I mean, there's Leola. Yes, Leola. Big shout out to Leola, do where this is what I mean about when you go live and stuff. I think it was months. Yeah, it was months the other week. Leola spent the whole all of his Saturday night with Monk. And it was one of them, you know, where you're flicking over channels and you see a new face on the you? The horse has got a message up, so you can't see who it is, but you recognise the voice, or you think, you, you think, oh, what's that? And then you just wait for someone in the chat to like say who it is, or because they've been in for a while. But, oh, that's what happened to me last week when uh, Leo was on. Not what you're expecting. You've got you get sort of like a what was the vibe? But I tell you what the vibe was. Because it was a Saturday night and it was Glassdoor and Guns N' Roses were on. We watched Guns N' Roses live at Glassdoor. And Leo Land, I was sure that was the same night. I was getting like Axel Rose vibes. You know what I'm saying? Did anyone go to Glassdoor? I didn't hear many people. You know? I thought there will be channels out there where they're like, they've got some good content from that uh, glass door, but nobody on it is it? It's not my cup of tea, to be honest. Oh, well, there was actual road jokes. I swear I didn't even know that. I, I, that was just five I was getting. But... Fuck knows what this music is here. We've just gone from bloody Shaka Khan, brim full of Asher, to whatever that was there. It sounded like, yeah. Uh, sounded like bloody a really old fashioned singer, you know. What's them? I don't even know any old crooners. I believe Shell's going on all day soon as well. So jealous. Have the, have the whole day prices gone down yet? Because yeah. remember, are you still getting the. Back in the day, it was like Teletext. I mean, anyone remember Teletext holidays? Or he's all a bit too young. Oh, before I forget as well, right? Before I forget, right? Check this one out, right? So, now would again, I look like in the YouTube studio. You can check on your block list or shit like that. But I like, I know, I, I had to use the studio for 
all the things that it can do for you, I probably use about 5%. I might have edited a bit of crap out where I've had a strike. I've used it for that. But some of the analytics, right, when you go through it, are like the some of the analytics you get are unbelievable, right? So there's one which isn't that unbelievable, right? But it's the first time I've looked at it, right? It tells you the age of the people that are watching People that watch your channel, and then it's about age groups, right? So, obviously, the highest one was uh, 30, 35, with like something like 40%. And then the one after 35 to 30 to 45 was 45 to 60, which was about 25%, right? And then there was the ones underneath that. But it was this mad one above, right? Six, 65 and above. 65 and above, yeah, you're old. Watch your channel, 7%. So, what is going on there? Where's Brenda and Val and Dot? I think we've got a secret little... We've got a secret little... Uh, you know, they're going down the... Going down the OAP, you know, for a free coffee and that breakfast on the morning. They've all got this channel on. That's a 7%, so big up the 7%. 7% or how many is that? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, Clippers as well. Looks like a drop. Let's all slap your heads. Quite nice noise, aren't it? Leo, sun blazing at the minute. I'm going to be getting a dab on soon. I'm there. I haven't yet, but I'm feeling a dab on coming up. I'm going to keep the right because I'm going to go to a uh, Thursday big shop. You know Thursday big shops? Who remembers the Thursday big shop? Oh, I had, a little, I had a bit of a weird one yesterday on the golf course. So I had flavours on in my pocket in camo, one of my camo pockets. I was listening to Flavours Live. And uh, yeah, and you know what Flavours like? You know what plays songs in the background? No one ever tells it that sometimes I don't know what it is, but it sounds you can tell it flavors the shout straight away because go on the music, it's like got this delay, right, hasn't it? Some days are worse than others flavors, right? But I think we've got it going on through the telly music. Through the PlayStation, right? Go through the PlayStation. When you put a song on, it's like sound they'll sound perfect, they're flavors. So I've done it here. And watch lives back, and it's got like a, it's got this weird sound with flavors. In it. It's like a little delay, peak, it peaks and then goes down. Oh mate, I mean I watch it because it's you, you know what I mean. But sometimes you don't like you, you don't know whether it's better if it's going through Bluetooth. Try Bluetooth, mate. You've got the same tablet as me. Use the same tablet. But it's one of them sound where the sound's coming through the air, you know, going into your phone or your tablet. 
it's not right, it's not perfect. Some days better than others, and I don't know why that is. But yeah, but the story was that I had flavors in the pocket. He put this song on, well, it might be uh, big because he's eclectic, big, and he's got a few favorites. But he put this song on, and he kept coming in when the chorus was coming in. Flavors kept saying the chorus, it was, uh, I can't remember what it was, right? But it was, it was really catchy. I know a lot of rap songs are repetitive at some point. They do say the chorus like 50 times, right? But because my phone was in my pocket, I didn't know just listening to it. And anyway, after about the 20th time, where Flavors kept saying the, this chorus, right? I thought, Flavors fucking help me. Can, is that not enough now? Can you just turn it off or say something else? I just don't kept on having the same. Beat and flavors coming in with this chorus, right? Come on, take, and then it must have been another five minutes, right? God knows how many times flavors have said this in my book. Pulled my phone out, I was clipping it, and I clipped it right by accident. My phone, it was just on a loop, so it wasn't even live. Like, it's just like I thought flavors was just like doing it, like repetitive. I'm saying, so what do you think? Either way, just when you write some basic, get the search for the text. It's happening, Gabby. Gabby's a geezer, honestly. What a geezer, man. Every time, like, he doesn't go on many panels now, but when he does, just like, he just likes the panel of noise, like, from the top of the app. It's funny. And, uh, in chat position, it's always like positive, and that's well, and you know, what I mean? it's always like upbeat. Still ginger, though, and he thinks he can play golf and that as well. I've heard him, him and John Beck. I'm gonna get John Beck. I want Gabby, I want John Beck, as long as all as well as all the regulars, right? For anyone who plays golf or thinks they're a golfer. Next week, next Wednesday afternoon, the day before the open, tell everyone anything to do with golf. That's what we want to be. We've already been cleaning up all this morning. I don't know if you can appreciate that from there. Nothing good in this camera, mate. Where the hell's it? This camera? It's one of their, another favorite there, Phil Graham's the Pinnacle, Pinnacle Titanium. It's been around the course a few times that one. He's seen a few decks that one has. This is Big G's favourite, obviously. Big. He likes to rock up on the course there. With the Wilson Duo Optics 2. Big G's favourite golf ball there, guys. Let's have a look at B's favourite golf ball. See? See? It's just, this is just a bit of my Gabby. I've got the Dunlop one there. The favourite of Gabby in the chat there, guys. Swears by the Dunlops. Dunlop everything. Umbrella. Dunlop card holder, even. Got this little funky number here. Tailor made. Let me tell you. If I was going to work for any golf company, tailor made or pink or tailor made, rocking the tailor made clubs. And... See, this one, yeah, guys, the top flight, the Z Bellata, right? No. So this is a this is the cheap version, right? Now the Bellata, right? The Bellata ball, Z Bellata. Forget about the top flight bit. Zed Balata 
came about a few years ago, and they're supposed to give you extra spin. It's supposed to give you extra spin, right? So already the spin that you can get on a ball if you can do it right, you'd already get quite a bit, but then they made a ball that spins even more, right? So the golfer will only use he might get to a par three. And his caddy will know to give him one of these balls because it's as well as him being one of the best golfers in the world, he's probably gonna hit a perfect get a chance of a birdie, yeah. Just to increase his chances a bit more, he'll probably have a ballad of all right. So the funniest ones are when people rock up on the golf course and like They've got all the gear and that, yeah. They've got all the gear on, look in the park, you know what I mean? They have to pull the like brand new driver out. It's like never been it before. And they come over flashing it about that. Then you say, oh, don't say, what ball are you using? You'll say, oh, take this. So you say to them, what ball are you using? I'll say, what ball are you using? You say, oh, the uh, Bellata. I'll be like, hey, you're, you're on the par five. The first hole, the par five, 500 yards. You've got the biggest driver in the world in your hand, right? So why would you hit a ballad ball that's soft and it's not going to go as far and it's not made for distance? That's, that's how you catch a golf out. No. So ballad, see, the guy who's had that has, has been one of them guys who's bought that for them from the shop. But that, but that was a new goal, Gabby. You're not, you're not that bad. You're not that bad. For that. At the minute, you're in the... Uh... You know what you're in, Gab? You're in the Shrixen. You're in the Shrixen zone, mate. Yeah? Decent balls. Decent. What's happening in the chat, guys? Yeah, what's happening? Junior well, it's got to be... So you've got Queen, the Queen of all balls, yeah. And I've seen a few of them here. Beautiful, This baby, yeah. This baby is the creme de la creme of the golf ball at the day, yeah. Next week at the open. God knows how many of them tight list Pro V1 drive. Just the number one ball from the last, there hasn't been a better ball or a more used ball than that anywhere anywhere in professional golf. Anyway, if you get into the Pro V1 category, if you get into that category, right, that means you are like top dog. So, that be. You do what you're doing, mate. You move from a Shrixen. There's a few levels above the Shrixen. We have, we have, of course, got the... Uh, let's have a look. Got the Callaway. Oh, let me tell you, Callaway made a lot of these balls CXR power, right? I don't really rate them, but... They did, they did have a good a good version of, the, of that of the classic Callaway, super soft or chrome soft, very popular. Same sort of thing as the Bellata. Right, I've actually got right any golfers out there. You won't see many luminous Pro V ones, right? You won't see many yellow Pro V ones. I'd say. But I've got. Them. I have got. Them. So in between, before you get to the top, the Pro V1, yeah, I've got a couple of contenders. One of them is this fella, yeah. So this fella's not far behind the Pro V1 at the minute. This RBZ, not sure what it means. Feels like quite a hard ball, though. It's like quite hard. You know, tell the feel the difference. Yeah, not the classic brilliant white where you might know it's I don't know if you can see in the light, but the tight list is always yeah. off white as well. Never white. Yeah. I can't remember the proper name for it now, like uh, 
One, two, or three. Do you know what? Do you know what, right? If you look, all the calories that you find, yeah? And you know what people are using because I find a lot more. There's a calorie for me. So I'm not really sure you know, Boston. I'm just going to say that you always see Callaway 3s like that, them two there, Callaway 3s. But well, there's Callaway 2. Fucking hell. That's totally uh, upaid by what I, what I was just going to say. Go over and I bet you have done it as well. I bet you ran on the golf course and picked someone's ball. Oh, it's got worse. Like, I bet I'm, I'm never that bad. Because, because uh, I play the game, yeah. When you play the game, you, you know the rules and you know, like, it is bad to like be on a walking about on a course when when somebody's playing. But I, I do it because I think I think come on, it's worse things in life than somebody walking two hundred yards ahead of you in the bush while you're taking your golf shot. Well, there's a lot worse things happening in the world isn't there? that's the way I see it now I still wouldn't go on and pick someone and call up and they were buried in that little cemetery that I called in at I'll still you a bit of a goal for them are you going to be in next week you're going to be in next Wednesday 12 o'clock right on Bostock I think you should come on the panel as well and tell us about uh, tell us about his association with golf there's muggles as well, muggles. I want you there, because you, you've, you've got something to do with golf. I know you have to tell me. Yeah, man, told me. We've only got another ten minutes anyway, people, because I want to get all tidied up. And get all tidied up. They're going to go and do the first big shot, like. Whoever's loving the golf and content. Whoever do you reckon? Do you reckon now when anyway, if you're in another chat and somebody mentions golf on the panel, do you reckon that somebody always puts like boom in the chat or says, Oh, boom's a golfer? Is that what I am? Is it like to join this I always be associated like golf balls? It's my own fault. Was going over with Barrett and Trigger because of the secrecy surrounding um, D Day and um, the authorities where he was because he wasn't allowed to know anything about the D Day. Gab B, mate, if, uh, if, if you've ever got any spare time, right? So I've never seen you in this chat, right? But for fun, <coughs> you're in the golf. And you want to laugh as well, right? Go watch any of Danny, the real Danny G's golf videos from the last couple of weeks. It's fucking hilarious, man. Honestly, absolutely fucking hilarious. I don't think he's meant to be hilarious, but and he has got a decent following. But he's been doing these lives where he takes his, it's his wife to video like all his shots and that, and he explains his shot before he's taken it. And basically. Well, the last few weeks, he's probably done about 10 lives of like courses. Funny as fuck, man. We all know what he's like. You know, he's a bit of a hothead. But on the golf course, you know, there's etiquette in there. And have just got no etiquette. Like, it's funny as fuck. But he's missing like, missing like 400, just losing the plot. Um, in the, 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 the Viking eye, yeah. He's also a sex guru as well, that's what made So I got into his, I got into these golf labs and the people up the go, yeah, and I was just like addicted to them every time. I was doing them every day. So I remember it being red hot and then like, you know, like that, that week where it was red hot. And... I remember watching one, watching one of them, like just still laughing about it. When an hour later, he's live again, right? He's in his front room. 
And this guy, he wasn't reading the chat, right? The camera must have been on the table or something. He stood there in his front room like that. He starts telling us about uh, how, to, how to keep your wife happy in bed. All that, but turned into like this sex guru, doing all actions and everything, and like his tongue was coming out. Man. I'm not even joking, man. So he'd done that for me, talking to the camera about uh, basically how to play the just how to be a sex fight legend, you know. He's really getting into it. I recorded a bit back about five times. He's got a lot of members as well, right? But what else he does? So what else the real dad Jesus, right? Does about when he what time of the day it is, how drunk he is, where he is. If you get to donation, if you get to ten pound soups in there, he's got to do twenty press ups. He's got to do double what what give it. He's got to drop and give him twenty press ups straight away. He does that everywhere, even on the golf course. He was about to take a book. And his wife said, Oh, you've got a uh, donation. Someone had given 20 quid, right? So he had to do 40 press ups. Just dropped down straight away, the 40 press ups, man, before he took a foot. Like, foot like this. That's his gimmick. He honestly does all right, as well. Probably. Get, probably. I don't think he's working. He's probably trying to make a bridge out of it. We just get donations, right? I'm thinking of doing donations and like I'll do a burpee or a squat, squat rust and then. Anyone hear Barry White there? Barry White was a walrus one. A walrus. Big shout out to Luke down there. She will just be finishing work now. She does watch. You know, you might not see her in the chat there. She's always watching, though. She watches what she can. Probably more than she should anyway while she's at work. Never see her in the chat because she's from Houston and driving. She's still watching, she'll still be like hovering over there. Suits, banner. Yeah, always warm up as well, gosh, I made that mistake two years ago. I had played for ages, went out with wellies, had all. Took the golf club instead, um, instead of my stick thing. Anyway, just the very first ball, I put it down and thought, oh, I'll just hit one. I'd swung, I'd swung it up for about a year in the well It gives it that, puts me back out, pulls this muscle in me back. Yeah, it's good. I couldn't do anything. I put, well, I think oh, I have yeah. boots. I was about two yeah, years, but it's two pitches by the Chris. Lloyd. Till I even know, uh, Chris, over so golf club, but missed you last week. I still haven't been out, of course, man. I can't believe it. So, mm -hmm. so, I'm trying to get a game forward to you. I'm trying to get a game. I'm all set to go. You know what I mean? I'm a 300-year-old hotel. Aspects just getting like, uh, you know, just getting the mission. It's mad when you think that. I could, if, if I wanted to now, I could go get the car, shopping golf clubs, go at the local cars and probably yeah, pay 25 quid and get a game there. So I don't know what I'm thinking about. Stupid. You know what, though, guys? It has been a pleasure there for the last hour and 34. That's mad because the last few lives have all been the same then. One hour thirty-four. But uh much of respect. Say so there's the big shop on the way. Don't mind it, you know. I don't mind it. I I, I used to 
quite enjoy going around the supermarket and that, like, just chilling. It's all chilling, man. Just trying to find something for you, right? Yeah. Play it out with this one, guys. So respect everyone who's been in. Have a good one. I'll catch you all with it. Had some eggs and gammon at a restaurant in Rill. Then he went with his wife Rhiannon to a campsite on the hill. The night was very windy, though outside it was still. Eggs and gammon, poor Rhiannon Ken had wind. Eggs and gammon, poor Rhiannon Ken's bad wind. <laughs> yeah, a little bit cheeky this one, isn't it? They opened up the tent flaps, but the smell it seemed to stay. So they tightened all the guy ropes, just in case they blew away. They saw a daddy long legs get on his knees and pray. Oh, eggs and gammon, poor Rhiannon Ken had wind. <laughs> eggs and gammon, poor Rhiannon Ken's bad wind. <laughs> oh no, it works as well, doesn't it? <laughs> And in the morning, the storm it did subside Ken went to the doctors and some medicine was prescribed What of the daddy long legs? Well I'm sorry to say he died Oh eggs and gammon, poor Rhiannon and Ken had wind Come on! Eggs and gammon, poor Rhiannon and Ken's bad wind Oh, eggs and gammon, poor Rhiannon and Ken had wind. Oh, eggs and gammon, poor Rhiannon and Ken's bad wind. Oh, pardon me, Vicar.